We are here at part four, where we examine Brian Johnson's hair loss protocol. Now he is suffering from two things, uh, hair loss and graying of hair. A lot of men can relate to this, I know I can. We're gonna go through what his protocol is and what effect it has had on him. I'm honest, I'm sometimes too honest. I just have to say though, and I'm saying this disappointed, his hair doesn't look great. Hardly can I be judgmental, I'm going through the same problems myself. But I was hopeful that after doing all this stuff, he would have amazing looking hair and I would say, well, what is he doing? And I wanna do exactly that. He has had a 31 year age reversal in gray hair, which is an 80% reduction. Now, he doesn't say this, but I think he had more gray hair for his biological age. He talks about a lot of stress that he had and general poor lifestyle he had in his 20s and 30s. In April 2023, he says that his gray hair has reduced from biological age of 70 to 41 in six months, which by the way, let's just stop and say, this is incredible. I mean, I didn't find a lot of bit about this, but wait a minute, you have reduced the amount of gray hair you have, gray or white hair. Now I wanna make a comment on this. I've done a lot of research on hair loss and I recently made a video about that. We used to think that you get gray hair or white hair because you run out of something, the thing that colors your hair. That's not true. What actually happens, we know now, is that you have stem cells at the base of your hair follicle. Every hair has cycles every growth cycle, the stem cell has to go up to another point in the hair follicle to turn on the color. And throughout life, as you age, they get stuck on the coming up or coming back. And when all of them get stuck, you don't get color in your hair. So it technically is reversible if we find a way. Brian's saying he did it. So this is incredible. No one has done this before as far as I'm aware. But later on down the page, he says that he has had significant trouble in reversing gray hair. So I was wondering if he dyes his hair. It turns out he does dye his hair. So I'm a little bit confused as what's going on here. Maybe he's dying, he reduces gray hair, but he's dying the remainder that he has. I would love some clarification on this. All of these men who are <laughs> going through this would love clarification on this. Now his hair growth routine also surprised me. He does take a mix for his hair. He puts a liquid mix on his hair nightly. It includes minoxidil. Minoxidil is a well-known FDA approved growth stimulant. For hair, you want to improve the growth and you want to stop it from falling out. Now that's minoxidil, the growth side. Two drugs called called finasteride and dutasteride help the hairs not thin. So it works on the losing the hair side. Brian takes injections of dutasteride in his scalp once a month, which I was also surprised about. And the toxicity that comes along with the hair dye, he recognizes it's actually in a video. And dutasteride, it's man-made. Finasteride is man-made, minoxidil is man-made, and he's applying all these. So that, I gotta categorize those as in self-aided destruction, sad, which he's doing to himself. <laughs> Just surprising, but I get it. Trust me, I get it. I wouldn't look good bald. I just can't be bald. I would probably get a wig before I go bald. I need to keep this hair. Now, this was also surprising to me because uh, his hair growth protocol, it's basic. It's what everyone would do. There's nothing special about this, which I was a little disappointed about. Look, I'm looking for the magic bullet just as much as everyone else is. And I was hoping that what I would have learned is through all of this lifestyle changes, he's so healthy and he's reducing his biological clock so much that he actually is growing his hair back. Now that also would be mind bogglingly groundbreaking. That's not a thing at this point. To finalize, I'm sorry I have to ask this because we're in the same boat here. We're getting gray hair, we're losing our hair. Our hair matters to us. I mean, it matters to you. That's why you're dying it. That's why you're doing dutasteride and you're doing minoxidil. But why do you have an old man haircut? Brian, I know that I'm putting you in a box here. I know that's what you're thinking and you don't go in boxes. You don't wanna be in a box. And this is uh, this is kind of a core tenant of your life. So I get that, I get that. But at the same time, you value how your hair looks and you're trying to grow it back. So why not just have a nice normal looking haircut like me? Let's move on to part five, which is all about supplements and his diet.